Scott Oren at Cruise Consulting, and today we're talking about cryptocurrency payroll. This is something I get asked about a lot because there's a lot of cryptocurrency fans out there, people, you know, startups who have their entire business based on it, or people who just invested in it and are true believers. Um, and they would like to pay the employees via cryptocurrency, via payroll. And so I always have to be the bearer of bad news on this because it's not the greatest thing to do. I know that you, as someone who believes in cryptocurrency, want to um, you know, be an early adopter and get it going, but the major payroll companies that we work with, like Rippling and Gusto and JustWorks and Trinet and Sequoia, they don't really accept cryptocurrency or don't facilitate paying via cryptocurrency. And so then what happens is we have uh, companies or founders that decide just to send the send the, uh, the the payment via like Coinbase or another mechanism like Squares app, Cash app, or any any other different way, but they are not taking payroll taxes out of those payments, and that is a huge no no for the IRS. The IRS really cares about payroll taxes. They are very smart. They figure out when you haven't been paying payroll taxes on something you should have. Um, and so you can end up paying a lot of penalties and a ton of negative paperwork if you just don't use a payroll app at all to make these payments. The other thing that's hard about these like just direct cryptocurrency payments, especially to like a contractor, say, say you decide that you're taking my advice, you're not going to run payroll uh, via cryptocurrency, but you do want to pay your contractors. Well, that's okay because you're not, you know, avoiding payroll taxes, but it makes the calculations and accounting for all those transactions a lot more difficult. So at Cruise, we're still waiting for like that magical moment when we can actually just get the, uh, when the cryptocurrency payment goes through, like say you paid someone in Bitcoin or Ethereum, um, and we actually get the exact dollar amount in our accounting software. Right now, the way we have to do it is treat each one of those uh, crypto payments as basically like a foreign currency payment and do the calculations to figure out what the actual currency was on that day or the average of the day or the average of the week. And so it makes the accounting for it a lot more difficult. Also, if you're using something like bill.com, we are saving the invoices for those contractors, which you should. Those invoices are getting synced into QuickBooks. The payment in cryptocurrency outside of bill.com will not always match in dollar terms what the invoice is for inside of bill.com. And so we end up in this situation where we're spending a lot of time trying to match each cryptocurrency payment, which often the app that was used are not really marked or uh, itemized or labeled for the vendor very well at all. Most of the time, not labeled for the vendor. We're trying to match those to invoices in bill.com so we can cancel out or basically offset that invoice. So there's just a lot of problems with for the on the accounting side if you're trying to pay uh, payroll or contractors through cryptocurrency. I totally get why you want to do it. And this is how things go mainstream when people are early adopters and start pressing use cases. I am excited though, um, because there are accounting software companies starting to get funded who will be able to solve this problem. So like, for example, there's a company called Taxbit, which was funded out of Utah, which raised $100 million. And their whole goal is to do better accounting around crypto transactions. And I can envision a day where Taxbit or someone else who else is funded has some real serious software. We'll be able just to send a bank feed into QuickBooks that the accountants like us uh, will be able to use to make things really easy. And by the way, those it's not just the QuickBooks that depends on those accounting feeds like or the bank feeds. Cruise Consulting depends on those bank feeds. Like we have a bunch of info coming in from Plaid as well. So having better bank feeds from those crypto payment apps will actually be the real unlocking of being able to run crypto payroll and cryptocurrency uh, payments to your contractor. So I know it's a lot to think about, but please keep it simple right now at, at, as a startup. I'll give this the, the time for some of these apps to get built from the bulletproof, and then I will fully endorse paying people through crypto, whether it's through payroll, or whether it's through contractors, but right now it's really tough. And as a startup, you're building a company, you wanna focus on your company and build your company, get a successful, let these other tool providers catch up to what you want. Hope that helps. Thanks so much, take care.